Yo guys and welcome back to the Pod Goals podcast. So guys, today we're so pleased to bring onto the show social influencer, turnt boxer, multi-talented, the amazing AJ Bunker in the hey. house. Hey guys. How was that? How are, How are you? you doing? Right? I'm good. How are you guys? Not bad, not bad. Yeah. We were literally just away in Dubai, just came back a week ago. Yeah. I know. Now this weather. Oh, mate. Well, to be honest, it's not been too bad though. It's, it's not been too bad. Now. Nah. Obviously, what do you mean it's not been too bad? It only she was like <laughs> running here with my coat up. It was, oh, this is but horrible. But the temperature's still nice. What? It's freezing. Nice nice outside. Outside. Yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm just chatting shit because I'm wearing a jumper. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I know I've had my heating on. I've actually had my heating on literally for about eight hours today. Bloody hell, man. I don't know why. It's, it's just it's nasty, mad, bro. It? So AJ, thank you so much for coming on. No worries. Talking of holidays, you just came back as well? Yeah, I've just come back from the Dominican Republic. How was it? It was really good. Oh my God, it was really good. <laughs> <Jeez. laughs> no, it was really good. An amazing holiday. Honestly, I would recommend it. The beaches are lovely. The people are lovely. You just got to be careful with people wanting to scam mm. you over there. For, Serious. Does yeah. that, that come under Africa, does it? Caribbean. 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 Yeah, 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 it was so nice though. It's the first time really? I've been to the Caribbean. How's the food? I'm a foodie man. Yeah, man. So the food, the food was good, but this is where they scammed me. Like, I went to a beach and they were like, "Oh, you need to try the like grilled shrimp." And I was like, "Okay, grilled shrimp, bit of rice, few beans." Sounds sick. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll get that. And then they gave me the bill, forty-seven dollars. Oh shit. Forty-seven dollars wow. just for, <laughs> and that was for one person. You're so I was lying. like, "Wow!" And you can't not pay it, can mm. you? So I wouldn't. <laughs> There's no legally apparently law around the world. Are you sure it's around the world? Yeah. Well, that you don't have to pay. No, if you, if you think the food wasn't worth it, or if it didn't keep up to the standard they said, you don't need to pay. For yeah, it. but saying that, when you're in another country, I wouldn't want to mess around with the laws. Yeah, this I'll is be the like, thing. Yeah. No, but bro, it's calm. Yeah. But you know what? It's yeah, like fair enough. it's like their country as well. It's like all the like their people, yeah. and you're like, like, I feel intimidated straight away as soon as I, was I get like, to the do airport. I do no. I dare like try and be <laughs> like, I ain't paying for no. this? <laughs> Your manager, yeah, nah. I said, mate, Look, I can box, but I can't box like 20 people, <laughs> <laughs> the whole kitchen staff. Yeah, you know what? Honestly, we just, you know, first and foremost, like we said, thank you for coming on, giving mm. us your time. Uh, we want to start off by asking you about your early years. Mm-hmm. How was it growing up? Where did you grow up? Because, you know, with you, it's like I knew for the moment I met you, there's some sort of Asian in you. You're not, yeah. Like, yeah. you know, you're not an out and out British, mm-hmm. there is some sort of mix. Yeah, <laughs> tell us more about yourself. So, yeah. Grew up in Hertfordshire, Hemel Hempstead. My mum's Filipino. Do you know what? It sounds posh, but I actually lived, grew up in the ends. Like, I grew up in oh, like, did the, you? Yeah, like the council state ends. It wasn't a council state house, but it was in that ends where, oh, like, literally, okay. like, people, my, my brother once come off, a, come off the school bus and the kid, like, hit him around the head with a hammer. Do you know what I mean? That kind oh, of shit. <laughs> you know what people say? Right. Hertfordshire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it yeah, sounds posh. Yeah. I lived in Hertfordshire. Like, that's why I say Hertfordshire. <laughs> exactly. Not Hemel Hempstead, Woodall Farm, <laughs> yeah. the ends. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, I grew up there, went to a Catholic school. My mum's Filipino and my dad's there you go. Scottish and English. So. That's amazing. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So the Filipino nice side, I think, is quite nice to know. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. Do you, do, you, uh, do you prefer Filipino food or English? Oh, it's so hard. Tough one. Oh, it's nice. so tough because I, I do love my, I love a roast dinner. I love, I love fish and chips. I, mean, I love, chips I love it. Oh, it is. God. Depends on where you get it from though. Cause oh. I've had some horrendous fish and chips. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, the batter's gonna be good. <laughs> yeah, Otherwise, yeah, exactly. if the batter's not good and it's wet and soggy, then it's a no go. Yeah. But yeah, I do love I do love my like classic British meals. But then I do love some Filipino food as well. So. What is, what comes under Filipino food? I'm not too sure. I know Thai food or Chinese, but what it's all similar. Under- so it's like chicken adobo, uh, pancit. So it's like lots of noodles, white Sorry, rice. Like, it. like it's very like salty. Like we don't really do spicy. It's more like salty and like really marinated soy sauce sort of fish and yeah, meats yeah. and yeah. oh, it just tastes good. It's like it's so good. Oh my god! Really? Yeah, it's so good. There's a few like Filipino restaurants. I need to take you. We need to yeah. film like going there and you're trying to. all the dishes. I was just gonna say I don't think I've been to a Filipino restaurant. <laughs> I was gonna say that. Yeah. We need to go. Yeah, definitely. I'm definitely gonna go. <laughs> yeah, I'm definitely. Down I've never known it. So, growing up, um, AJ, when you got into involved, you know, naturally growing up, getting in college, school, uni. What got you into social media? And I love hearing people's views because social media is quite daunting. Mm. It isn't as easy as people mm. make out. Yeah. Like maybe nowadays, you know, with TikTok and stuff, mm. you know, every Tom, Dick and Harry's on it. I see my uncle on it. <laughs> I see my uncle on it. He's not even in the country. He's in Pakistan. So I want to ask you, what got you into it? And tell us initially, did you think like the, there'll be backlash or did you think mm. you could handle hate well? Because there's something we speak about a lot on our podcast is the effects of social media. So for me, I didn't have 
a social media following until I went into Love Island. Yeah. It was only once I came out of Love Island where I got the like social media following and I d did not expect to come out to so much hate. Like I did get so oh, much hate God. on Love Island. Like I had, I was trolled bad. I was probably one of the worst trolled like girls who went on the show. Really? Just because um, my season, a lot of the boys, like I say boys, like the guys were yeah. like a lot younger than me. So I, I got trolled for being like a little bit older. Right. So people were like, oh yeah, she's like granny this. I was only 28 at the time as well. Shit. So wow. yeah, and um, a lot of trolling for, um, I guess like non-surgical like procedures as well. So yeah, mm. I didn't expect to come out to it. When you came out, when I, like when you first come out yeah. of the villa, you get a phone call back to, like from your parents. And my dad was like, you just got to be prepared for this because there has been things that have been said. So he's like, just be prepared, not look at it. Mm. And, so, yeah, and then you you get, I guess you're just thrown into social media. That's mad. No training at yeah. all. So it's very, it's not like I was an influencer that built myself up and like saw, like saw that progression and grew with it. It was just, it was like basically getting like thrown into a job without training. Course, so, yeah. yeah, it was very intense and um, it was difficult. I'm not going to lie. Like it's hard not to look at the yeah. next comments. Of course, yeah. Back then. Now I don't. And now I kind of thrive off yeah, like, yeah, negative yeah. comments because of the it. industry I'm in now. I'm yeah, like, exactly. you know, more, the more hate you get, the more like in the boxing, it's completely different. You want to be the comic Gregor. You want to be of the villain. Course. But coming out of something like Love Island when I genuinely was a good person oh, and course, I was yeah. a, I thought, I stayed true to myself. I was like, do you know what, with the hate I came out to, I might as well have been a villain. I should have gone in there and caused chaos and carnage that's it, because yeah. being a good person, you're still going to get hate. So, um, but yes, yeah, so that's what kind of threw me into it. But it's so a lot of guts even walking. I mean, what made you even go into Love Island? What made you want yeah, to gonna, just go into it in the first place? Because <laughs> yeah, <sorry. laughs> not being in social media, I feel like some people that have already got a social media mm. background think, let me get into Love Island yeah. and blow me up. But you saying you weren't even into it. Yeah, this is the thing. I didn't even really go into it for the social media. I didn't even think, I, I knew like obviously you'd come out and maybe you, some people get really big from it, yeah. but it's always very hit and miss. It's only if you kind of oh, yeah. find love. Um, exactly. I generally like was like, I'm very much like want to try new things, exper experiment, ex experiment, not experiment, yeah. <laughs> <something weird. laughs> experience new things. Like I'm very adventurous and I got scouted when I was like 24, so a few years prior. And I was with someone at the time, so I was like, no, I'm not gonna, I was like just dating someone, I wasn't in a relationship, yeah. but I'm not like, a, I'm not gonna, do if I've got feelings, I'm not gonna just end something for a TV show. And, um, and then me and my last long-term ex, like we broke up, we'd been broken up for about a year and a half. My girls were like, why don't you apply for Love Island? You know, they reached out to you before. Like, why don't you just go for it? And I was like, oh, I don't know. Like, they're like, we can see you on it, just apply for it. Like, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> True. And, um, and I was like, okay, well, do you know what? I've been single quite a while. I'm finally like ready to find, like meet someone new. I've tried so many different ways of dating as well. And it, oh my God, it's been like, it was horrendous. <laughs> so um, like I've got so many bad stories, <laughs> like really bad stories. So I was like, how else do you meet people these days? So I was like, I've done dating apps. I've done people signing to my DMs. I've done like trying to meet someone in a club. And I was like, like it just doesn't work. So mm. why not try love? Why do you think that is? Away from the whole social media, why do you think that is? Why is it so hard for <sighs> girls to find, or even men to find good girls? and? Vice versa. I, I personally think we live in a generation now where yeah. people, like, you know, when we, like, our grandparents were around and our parents, yeah. like, they didn't have social media, they didn't have dating apps. Yeah, yeah. So if something was broke, you'd work on it, you'd fix it. Like, things weren't so replaceable. Exactly. Whereas now we live in a time when things are so replaceable, like, people can easily sell, like, oh, it's like, oh, there's these girls look better, or there's these cosmetics procedures now as well. Like, course, yeah, oh, this right. girl's got bigger boobs, this girl's got Absolutely. like fake arms, I don't know. Yeah. And, you know, I just think it's it's sad that we live in a time where people don't work on their problems and like they think, oh, well, I might as well just get a new girlfriend or a new boyfriend because I can just jump on an app and do that. So I think it's just people are more replaceable these days than back in the days when people used to work at things. So true. You and it's just, it's the people in this generation as well. Cause yeah. You see like how you just said it's hard to find people in the yep. club or whatever. Mm -hmm. Even now when you jump on the dating apps, yeah. it's like everyone's now jumping on the dating apps and doing the same thing. They're yeah. not actually yeah. looking for love. They're this still trying it. to just do a little fling. I think a lot of people are scared of commitment and yeah. I think people are just like, oh, the grass is what, what, what if? Or there's something better out there. And, 
And I think that's it. We live in a time where we didn't even, they didn't have social media. They didn't think there was something better out there. It's like they fell in love with Absolutely. someone. Absolutely. Because it's just, they met someone and, yeah. and that's it. They didn't think, well, there's a big world out there and there's all these pictures of girls. And yeah. it's like, there's just people so easily accessible now as well. Yeah. I also think, yeah. you know, like the world we live in today, I feel like every man thinks that, you know, there's a better woman out there. Mm. And the, we, the reason why they judge is simply from comparing. Yeah. Yeah. They're going to compare their relationship to someone else. Because mm. I've always said some people are blessed different. Some people are financially blessed. Mm. Some are blessed with healthy lives. Mm. Some are blessed with children. Yeah. Some, it's just such different blessings. But not everyone's going to have everything. Yeah. Yeah, that's and it. I always feel like once you've got something, you always look at something you haven't got. Yeah. And you're like, oh, you know what? Did you see my friend's holiday? Oh, she spent this and she went there. And then you're, you know, your man will just sit there thinking... <laughs> no, no, I'm giving you a good life and yeah. just because they've got more money or they've but, got more I think that's but where the, the film times I feel like you know what social media can be such a lie as well oh, like people oh, can oh, just like make, you can make, like, like pretend that there's <clears throat> these happy couples and then you see like actually they're not yeah, so yeah. it's just like people can, it can be really deceiving I think and it's no, like 100%. very fake and I think people just think oh look I could have that better life or exactly. this better looking person and yeah and it sometimes it doesn't work out with looks way. now like you just mm. touched up on earlier I think with looks it's it's become to the point where because you can literally change anything. Yeah. Now, mm. when I was in school and a girl had a, you know, not in a rude way, but if she didn't have like, you know, full lips or she had a bit of a bent nose yeah, or yeah. anything. It could be anything. They yeah. were beautiful in their own mm. way. But now it's like beautiful is defined as this Chloe Kardashian, yeah. Kim Kardashian, all yeah. these women. Yeah, yeah. Did I say Chloe right? It's not the, the yeah. dad, is it? No, no, no. no, no, no. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot their names. That's Caitlin. Yeah, Caitlin. <laughs> yeah, sorry, I thought well, I was going to get rid of you. So, so, yeah, and I think Kylie was the biggest reason for it. Yeah. yeah, yeah I no, blame her solely was. for no, it. Oh my God, she was. Yeah. Solely. Yeah. Kim tried it for a bit. Yeah. But I think Kylie was the reason that this aesthetics and all this stuff became such a thing. I feel like, like the Kardashians, just in general, like the reason that they yeah. got people wanted big bums, yeah. big lips, like these tiny waists, like, and then you just forget, like, it's not real. Like, they have literally just gone out and gone, got this got stuff, done. so. Yeah, yeah. It's so crazy, I always say, when they have children, yeah. their children are going to come out, you know what's happening when you have kids? <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look, the baby's got your lips. Yeah. Well, the baby's got your nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they look at them say, shit. <laughs> that baby ain't yours. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that's probably why. Oh, shit. It was good we spoke about that, because yeah. you mentioned about love and, you know, how it's hard now for people to, you know, go out and find people. And mm. So going back to your Love Island stuff, I don't even know you've got that much hate on it. Yeah. I know. I feel like, oh my God, I was just trolled so, so bad. Um, but yeah, I, I had like death threats. I, had, I remember I, I was once sitting though? in my car. Yeah. I remember for a story and I think someone put like, they actually like, I had messages literally like, I hope you crash and die. Like oh, it's wow. so, it was so mad. It's so mad. I can't believe like someone can... It's wow. mad, like, but also there was good, but you can't, when, when you first come out that, when you're not used to it, yeah, all yeah, you can yeah. ever see is the bad. You don't That's really it. see the good. Yeah. Of course. And the things that I never even thought of picking out about myself or looking at myself, I was like, oh my God, like, do I look like that? Is that what people think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you just second guess yourself a lot. It's, it is mad, it is mad. And I can see why, you know, there's been so much, you know, like so much bad stuff that has come out of Love Island in terms of like people committing suicide. Of course, but yeah, yeah. One thing I would say with Love Island now is that they really do help their cast. Like we, you have a psychiatrist, That's wicked, yeah. you have really? a welfare team. Really? Yeah. yeah, so you have, um, before you even go in, you get psych tested. So they do like, they do everything to make sure that, yeah. you know, their cast is it's like, like the, the recent one off. that came out, I think it was um, one of the Love Island that, that went in. Yeah. He couldn't handle it, mm. and then he decided to leave. And mm. it's just one of them ones that they'll obviously let you go when you need to go because he's, mm. I can't remember if his name was Jake or something like that. I think it might have been, it might have been Jack, I think. Jack. One of them, yeah. Jack, but all I know yeah. is, is he came in, he said, I can't do it. Like his yeah. mental health was playing up or something, mm. and he just left. Mm. What, while he was on the program? While he was on the program, he mm. just said, Look, guys, yeah, I need to leave. And he sat everyone around and just told them, I'm gone. Do you know what it is? It does become really hard. And good on you for coming out because yeah. you're one lovely person. I've met you for quite a few times now. Yeah. And I've always said you're really down to earth. And oh. you know, and I think that sort of experience could have ruined your yeah. character. Yeah. So I think people need to realise that, you know, coming on these programmes, getting that much hate. And like you said, death You've got to be strong. Over what? Like, death yeah. for doing what? You know, I bet you shit. can't even give a reason for yeah. what. It, there was no yeah. reason. You no. can't tell someone, I wish you'd jump but in you jump. But you could have taken that, yeah. The, yeah, but you could have taken that the completely opposite way. Oh yeah. my Fuck God. everyone. 
I'm know, not going to be good to no one. I was very fortunate to have some really good friends around me at that time. Mm. Like, like, don't get me wrong, I went through a really, really low like stage. Of course, where, naturally. And I was going out a lot, I was drinking a lot. I had some really good people around me, but I was at a very low point. Yeah. And um, at that point, I actually had someone like like a guy like take advantage of me at that time as well. So you know when someone yeah. knows Damn. that you're in a low place and they take yeah, yeah, advantage of, course, of yeah. you. Yeah. Um, but you know what? That's where boxing had actually like saved me. So I want to come into that. I, yeah. I love the fact you know you've just transformed all of this and yeah. took it into a positive vibe. And mm. now yeah. you know getting onto misfits. So tell us how that came about then, because you brought it up. So yeah. what, what? Firstly, look. What are you gonna <laughs> you're gonna say? Like, what are, you're like, well, yeah, you're yeah. just skipping a big step. No, it's a roller coaster of emotions here. I'm happy we're talking as friends, and <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I want to know now from Love Island. Yeah. So now going in and beating people up yeah. is literally. such a big, is a world God apart. God lover to fight yeah, exactly. yeah, like literally. Why polar opposites? Why do that and what made you do it? Um, so I actually got approached by my like agent at the time about mm-hmm. doing like one of these celebrity boxing matches. Yeah, I've never fought in my life. I was just like, the only fights I've ever had was with my brothers when we was little. <laughs> and we didn't even ever punch each other. We used to always wrestle because we loved <laughs> yeah. WWE when I was younger. Yeah. <laughs> And one fight outside a club, but I couldn't even hit a girl. I was like this, hitting her with my palms. <laughs> so I was like, oh my God, I couldn't even think of hitting someone and I would not like to be hit. Like, yeah. I like my face. Of like, course, I, I was going to say that. Yeah, you can't. Um, but at that time, I was drinking a lot. I was in a very bad place. I, my mental health, my physical health was just on a downward yeah. spiral. Um, and I, at that point, I didn't even know I had ADHD as well. So I like, I was like, I had no, because you come out and you have no routine and me, me, me not knowing I had ADHD back then, like I was like, I don't even know how to handle my day. Like I don't, yeah, yeah. I'm so used to having a schedule and following objectives. And I was yep. like, I really don't know how to like manage everything at the moment. And um, I had a friend called Ben Jardine. I don't know if you know him, he did Celebrity Big Brother. And I met him at an event and he was, I told him about it and I was talking to him about the, um, like my agent approaching me about this fight. And he was like, he's like, why? He's like, I box. Why don't you just come for a training session? If you don't see like you it, yeah, see, see, have a few, have a smack on the pads. If you like it, take the fight. You know, it'll be good for you. It'll be something to work towards and like, you know, maybe yeah. make you healthier. And he, and he was such an advocate because he's a boxer. So he was like, I love yeah. it. Like, it's really good for you. He was really trying to sell it to me. And he's like, and if you don't like it, you can leave park it. it, leave it. Never even have to think about it again. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, we met up, went for a training session. God, he put like, he wrapped on bronze. Yeah. Obviously, Grants were like, well, probably the sick? best gloves you could probably wrap on because my first ever glove experience were Grants and they were they felt like smack on the pads and they that, that yeah. I, was like, I was like I was like I felt so badass I was like this feels amazing I was like oh, I feel so empowered right now yeah. and like that feeling and he was I think it was like gassing me up a bit he was like oh well God you were natural yeah. probably was I looked back and I was like I look terrible but he was gassing me up he was like you you look good well, maybe he was, like, he meant, maybe he meant from the power uh, power yeah. side of it. Well, that's it. He was like, you're picking up really quick. He's like, you've got natural power. He was like, you know, this is something you really can work with. So he's like, you know, and at the end of that session, I was like, I love it. I want to give it a go. Like, yeah. let's just let's carry on and just see where it, it see where it goes. Yeah, that's mad. That fight actually got cancelled. So oh, I did shit. four weeks of training for that, got cancelled. And then I went on to get an approach for Celeb MMA, oh, which is yeah. where yeah, I yeah. met you. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and that got cancelled as well. So yeah, oh, it's God. just um, oh my canceled. God! It's like when am I gonna finally fight? <laughs> and then obviously I got approached to take on the two week last minute fight with Elbrook because Astrid yeah. oh, yes. pulled out. Um, and I didn't actually know who Astrid or Elbrook were because at this point I'm Love Island. Of course, never really been on TikTok. It's really funny because nor did I. Yeah, I didn't know them two either. <clears throat> and I didn't realize how big they were. Like, I was like, I was Massive, like, who, yeah. who? Like my my one of my like one of the girls who worked for Celeb MMA. She approached me about it, and she was like, yeah, like Astrid and Elle. And I was like, what? what? I've never heard yeah. of them. Then, and TikTok. I was never really on TikTok at that point either. So I was like, who are these people that are on this undercard? <laughs> um, but I was like, Do you know what? I keep going in and out of camps. I need to just get in the ring, even though it's like very short notice. Yeah, and have, get the debut out of the way. Yeah, just get the debut out of the way and get in the ring. And because I need to get hit properly to see if I actually like course, it. Because otherwise, yeah, yeah. what am I doing? Of course. And um, yeah, did the Elbrook fight. Yeah. Managed to last all four, four rounds yeah, of two well weeks done, notice. Yeah, well that. Yeah, of course. Because I think it's amazing. I had obviously went for a celeb MMA. MMA, I can't even say the word. Sorry. <laughs> Got cancelled, had yeah. a long period where I was just like not training, eating all the bad food again because yeah. you can, drinking, <laughs> yeah. 
got the call up and I was like, oh my God, it's two weeks. Can I do this? I was like, oh, let's just do it. Forget it. Let's yeah, just yeah. go for it. Why not? See what it's about. And I just loved it. I loved the fight week. Like, I love the build up. Yeah. The atmosphere. And I love the, I just, yeah, I just loved it. I love fight night. At this and point, was Brooke already a fighter? This was, me and her debuted our fir- together? Were the first together. Okay, yeah. yeah. I thought it was just for you. I yeah. thought she was already a fighter. Okay. No, yeah, it was yeah, her yeah. first fight as well. Right, right, right. Yeah. So it's like we. No, what she's trying to say is maybe you know, Elle was probably training longer. Yeah. Oh yeah. You know, maybe, she's quite yeah, butch, yeah. isn't she? She's quite big. Yeah. So she's had a proper camp. Yeah. She was training yeah. for four months, oh, and wow. I'd trained for two weeks. So. Yeah. Um, yeah. So it was a bit of like I, I thought I was gonna get knocked out. I'm not gonna lie, but at the right. same time I was like, I know that I've got a, I've got like an inner dog in me that I'm, yeah. like, I'm yeah, not gonna yeah, give yeah. up. No, I'm gonna give up. I think you know even with like, do they have? weight classes with females in, in Misfits. They do, yeah. But she was much bigger than you, though. Yeah, this no, is... No, in a rude way. It was lovely, but I mean, like, she's re- she was really big compared to you. This is the you thing. You look more slimmer, like, more of a slimmer frame. I think, oh, you know... Mus- Elle, more Elle, muscular. Elle, not me, yeah. More muscular, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> I... strong. I definitely was underweight for that fight. Mm. Yeah. They... I was not the weight that they said I was. They said I was 55 kg. In that point, I was never... I'd no. never been 55 kg in my life. Exactly. I think I was about 52. She was 56. So there was a massive weight difference for And maybe when she came into the ring, she was probably heavier than that. Yeah, probably. Oh, yes, yes. And um, and even this like this most recent fight, I had to put weights in my bra... Like, we had the rematch recently. I had to put weights in my bra to make weight. Because... Oh, wow. Are you allowed to do that then? Well, um, no, but my brother was like psychological welfare because like, she, like you know, we need to do it because we, we, we weighed in and I knew she was going to be a lot heavier than me. And he was like, I don't want her to think that she right, has that advantage sense. of being heavier Absolutely. than you. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just look, we know you're going to be lighter and much lighter, but... Because being lighter isn't the problem. It's when you're heavier. That's the problem. Of course, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, if you get hit by someone heavier, it's like pff, you get like a lighter person against a heavier person. If a heavier person lands yeah, on don't. a light person <laughs> you, well, oh. you, get, you get knocked out yeah. like what happens so. so stupid question but obviously in boxing yeah when you go for your weight and you don't hit the certain weight you obviously get fines and stuff yeah. like that so that's what i was asking are you yeah. allowed to add on extra weights onto oh. yourselves that's what i mean yeah <laughs> you know there's another thing about boxing right you know naturally when you're a female and like mm. you mentioned that before about your you never want to get hit because mm. you rely on your image a lot because obviously you're yeah. well followed you and I think even that is such a big thing for you to say, you know what, I'll go in the ring. Yeah. You know, so like, I think with men, it's a bit different. Yeah. They're more like, you know, who cares? But I think with women, it's like the beauty side of things, mm. being an influencer. Yeah. So even that took a lot of guts for you to go into a ring. It did is. you think about that? It, d- it did take a lot of guts. And you know what? The weird thing is from where I was before with like thinking, I don't want to get hit. And you can see it in my first fights because I fight like this like, yep. not with my head out. Whereas now where I am now in life, I was driving my car the other day and I was like, I miss getting hit in the face. Oh, wow. Like, I just come back from home <laughs> yeah, and I was like, I miss getting savage. hit in the face. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Like, I actually miss that. I was like, I miss that feeling of getting hit in the face. So I want to hit someone back. <laughs> so yeah. it's a mad contrast from where I was to where, where I am now. But I, I guess you see that as time goes course, on. Yeah. And you just get used to it and you think, oh, I've been knocked out now. What's the worst that can happen? I've broken my nose now. What's the worst thing that can happen? Did you actually break your nose? Yeah. It is a... Um, I, a fracture. I feel like it, yeah, it was a little bit bent. It does feel a bit bent, but I was just thinking to myself, I don't think it's really noticeable. It was swollen at one point and it was quite noticeable. It's kind of gone down now. You can only really feel it if you really press. But I was just like, I'll just get a nose job at the end of my boxing career. Yeah. <laughs> I know <laughs> it's, it's that, part, yeah. If it's that bad. I know it's just That's part of That's only if it's that bad. Yeah, but off the back of Yaz's <laughs> question, so for example, like getting hit in the face and then after a fight, imagine all the bruising and the cuts yeah. for a female, especially when you're on social media as well. Mm. Does that like affect you, like, and what you need to do on a daily basis? And yeah, true. Like, any, any, do you know, like, your presence? You're walking yeah. around. You've got cuts and bruises on your face, and I know makeup does wonders, but still. I mean, yeah, good, I mean? good, 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 good uh, concealer does yeah. works magic. But, um, I think because I'm now known more for being in the Boxing, yeah. misfit scene, it, yeah. it kind of just goes. I kind of wear my bruises with pride. Good, yeah, yeah, I don't know good. why, but I actually yeah. feel like quite bad. I, I remember. Thinking like, yeah, you know what? I'm, I went to Dubai after the Elbow yeah. fight. I had a yeah. bust. I did look bad because I was with my coach and his friend. And um, it looked like they obviously, they it was up. just me yeah. as a girl and these two guys. So it looked like yeah, they'd yeah, yeah. been beaten up and I tried yeah. by <laughs> these two Asian lads. Yeah. So I think that's where it's like a bit like people are a bit like suspect. And they're like, uh, is this girl okay? Do we need to like, <laughs> she just did give us a little signal. But um Otherwise, like now, I'm just I just wear my bruises with pride. If I if it's a big fight, I'm just like I actually like quite enjoy it. And 
I don't mind it. My parents don't mind it now. I think their first oh, few fights. Yeah, yeah, nervous and They stuff. were like, oh, I yeah. want to see you bruised. And they were nervous. And now they're just like, oh, it's just. I think what it is with it. you, I think you've, you've taken it in, in the fact and you've accepted the fact that you're a boxer now. Yeah. yeah. And it is something that, like you said, you like getting hit, which shows you. <laughs> <laughs> not, I don't know if you like it, but you mean you missed the whole, yeah. you know, punch me, I'm going to punch you back yeah. sort of thing. The thrill, I think the that adrenaline. shows you that it is for you to do, yeah. to stick into it. So do you, something you plan on doing for the next couple of years? Or is it something you do want to like, just do a couple of fights and walk out? I think my issue is, is I'm turning 32 at the end of this year. Not that that's like 32 is old, no, but hey. I think it's for me, like younger, eventually so you, I want to have a family. And, oh yeah. You know, so for me, like that's, that's the side of it where it's like, I want to have a family, you know, I'd like to have yep. children at some point. So it's Best like- Best blessing ever. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And I think when it comes to that point, it'd probably be when, when I want to, you know, retire. But there's probably a few years from now. But yeah, I think that when, it's, when I'm ready yeah. to have- Little, yeah, of course. Little, of course. little, little, little AJs. Little AJs. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, that's when I'll probably retire. And do you know what? I would actually like my last fight to probably be with Elbrook. Yeah. Would you again? Yeah, yeah, like a trilogy. Like even though she's beating me, I just would want to. <laughs> I started with her. I would want to end it with her, maybe. But I don't know. At the same time, I'm. That's not. She's not my weight class. Of course. Yeah, so yeah. I'm finally going down to my weight class. I agree. I can't wait. I'm so excited because I've been fighting girls a lot heavier than me. Yeah. And, yeah. I think um, the, I think this, it's a clear mismatch. Even if someone's yeah. watching it, it's not that you're because you're a good boxer. Yeah. But if you're fighting someone who's a you know even if they're not as good as you, yeah. but if they're bigger, yeah, they they're take one punch gonna have and that's the advantage. It. Yeah. And your punch. Can never well it can hurt yeah but it won't knock them out yeah exactly but fighting someone your own size will be a yeah. little more so i think you should fight seth next no. i'm all right yeah i'm all right <laughs> <laughs> you know the weight class is different that's what it is <laughs> I'm, I'm super heavyweight but honestly the, you know the transformation mm. from going into social media because that's more like pretty makeup looking the part mm. you know saying the right things, yeah. Yeah. like media training. Yeah. But I think with boxing, it's so raw, isn't it? Oh and you can go God. on and say, yeah, you know, fuck you, this, that. Because oh, uh, I remember yeah. you and Elle were going at it. Oh my God, the things I've put on Twitter uh, when me <laughs> and Elle were doing our rematch. And even like recently, my antics in Nashville, I'm like, this is so like different for me. Yeah. But also, but it's like, it's part of that scene. And it's like, mm -hmm. if I want to build my next fight, I can't be the nice person. Of course. I'm in my villain era now. Like I'm, I, I, in the boxing scene, I'm just like, I just need to be a villain because I want the fights. I want girls yeah. to want to fight me. So it's like, I can't be their friend. I can't be nice to them. So yeah, it's like, just expect even more <laughs> antics, I guess. But it is <laughs> weird because yeah. I'm so used to no, being that's like what people a girly, look forward to, nice it? That's person. what press conference is about. Yeah. You know, if everyone's just like, yeah, nah, yeah. Don't worry, just watch on Saturday night. Yeah. You're like, oh, fuck it. Just let Saturday come then. Yeah, I'm just like, come on, let's fight. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> let's do something. But you know what? For you, when you're, when you're let's just say, because you're so not known to be a nice person, because mm. you can't hide your history. You've yeah. been, you know, in the limelight for such a long time now. Mm. So all of a sudden, if you now flip up, mm. do you fear people start thinking, oh, look at her. That's not really her. That like she's acting. But I don't think that's yeah. acting, though, because I think, Elle really pissed you off at one point. Yeah, she did. And, yeah. I and you know, someone that you know has been watching you for quite a while, I know when you're probably having a laugh or when you actually want to think, I'm yeah. gonna fuck you up. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. I felt like that wasn't acting. But I think yeah. people who s see you from before, they might mm. think, oh, look, why is why is um, AJ being someone she's not? Yeah, yeah. yeah, I know what you mean. Yeah. The thing is, so with me. I'm a fire sign, so I actually, yeah. I'm a really nice person until so you push my buttons. Yeah. <laughs> I have got an really aggressive, angry side. I'm a fiery person. So with Elle, it genuine yeah. was, it, yeah, so watch out, guys. <laughs> um, with Elle, it was genuine, like, hate there because we'd had the fight and then she was disrespectful and I was like, she's, she's trash. Like, there was yeah. actual, like, I was like, I want to fight her again and I want to, like, make a show of it. Obviously, she ended up knocking me out, but there was genuine, like, hate there. And there are girls in the scene that I genuinely do not like. So yeah. there will be certain people that I will have that beef with. And there's certain people I will respect, of but course. I'll probably be like, I'll probably do some jokey stuff with them just to, like, rev, rev them up a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but it would never be insulting or me, like, you know, talking about them in a bad way, but I'd probably like, you know, as I said in Nashville, I'll just chuck flour at the girls, even though, course, just yeah, because yeah, I was yeah. like, you know what, they're gonna, it's gonna it annoy them. Is. I'm gonna steal yeah. their moment and just <laughs> chuck flour all over them. But, um, and I was I like, think. that's not being horrible. That's just having a bit of fun, yeah. you know. Being a little How is the relationship with you and Elle now anyways? Oh my God, so yeah. good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I think we even discussed like being tag team partners, oh, that's you know, wicked, it's, I think that's the thing in boxing, it's like, you can have so much hate, but 
after you've shared rounds in the ring, as long as there's like, you show respect, if the respect That's is it. there, then there's just love and respect there. You can't, you can't hate someone That's after brilliant. you've yeah. let it all out. Yeah. And yeah, the way she was after the rematch, she was really professional. She was a sportswoman, and Wicked. you know that's why I respect her. Whereas after our first fight, she was really disrespectful, and I was like, I came with two weeks' notice, yeah. and you're like bad mouthing me, and being really disrespectful. When I didn't, need, I actually did you a favor. I saved your ass by yeah. coming in and taking this fight, even though you knew you'd win because I've. Had yeah, yeah, two weeks training. I've been training MMA prior to that. Like I haven't even had boxing training. Would you think that would affect the trilogy then, if you had the third match? Now that you're friends. Yeah, that's mm, the only true. thing. I feel like you I'd want to end with that, but at the same time, I was like, do you know what? I'd actually rather just be a tag team partner. Yeah, I yeah, feel yeah. like there's a love yeah, there now. Of course, yeah. I feel like there will be someone in this scene. Now I'm going down to the lightweight division. Okay. You know, Astrid, I'd love the rematch with, but she's like not fighting for misfits at the moment. So okay. obviously I broke my hand in that fight with her. So it's yeah, like, yeah, I'd yeah. love that rematch. Um, There's a lot of fights out there for you. I think, because I think with misfits, more people will be coming onto it. Yeah. So mm. there might be newbies who want to fight you. It doesn't always need yeah. to be the same people. No, it doesn't. There might be someone who wants to fight you, just come up and say, you know, I'd love to fight AJ. There is a girl that has called me out, Alexia Grace, and I don't like her at all. So oh, wow. she's one person <laughs> yeah. that when I see her at an Alexia's event, getting it. No, trust me, like she is getting it because she's been nothing but disrespect disrespectful about me. She's um she's pure trash. Like so she's someone that <laughs> I genuinely don't have respect for. So if I see her, like that's someone who would. Just... So she's never fought on Misfit. I don't like. Forgive me. I don't even know who she is. But is she someone who's? Um, she's had up? two fights with Misfits, but she's lost oh, okay. both. So she, I think she needs to win a few fights before. No, respect she, to her. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. No, but big respect to her. Big respect yeah, to her. Yeah, but yeah. I mean, I think sometimes when people want to come on and call you out, yeah. it's because you've got the clout. Yeah. People know who you are. Yeah. And you know, for her, she might be thinking, "I've lost two. Yeah. If I fight AJ now and yeah. I beat her, yeah." I'll get into... I'll gain that respect. Well, back. that's it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, I've come off a loss because I got knocked out by L. So I think she thinks, oh, well, she got knocked out by L. So she's not that hard of an opponent. But you've so, also won a belt, though. Well, that's it. Yeah. I was a champion and I was a lot lighter and I was in a division. I was fighting girls that weren't my weight class. They were exactly. a lot heavier than me. So, you know, when I go down to the lightweight division, it's going to be a different story. I'm so excited. I can't And you felt that <laughs> heavyweight power as well now. So hopefully yeah. that power might not even phase you anymore. Yeah, that's why yeah. I just feel like these girls are going to be so much like lighter. Like yeah, it's not going to yeah, hurt yeah. as much. It's going to be, I'm just excited. It's going to be just a whole different experience. With lighter, yeah. that's where the speed comes though, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Gas tank is that's everything. It, yeah. Speed. <laughs> yeah. Um, and it's more like boxing rather than a brawling, I guess. That's it, yeah. yeah. I think that's the thing when you're fighting people heavier, I think you're going against someone with a lot more power. Yeah. So even if they're just jabbing you, it will yeah. shake you a little bit, you know? Yeah. Like if you're jabbing them, like I said before, it's like a little flick. It will hurt. I, won't, mm. I, I can't say it wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Like if you punch me now, you'll hurt. Mm. Yeah, of course. <clears throat> but I mean, if you're going to, you know, swing at people and they're swinging yeah. back at you, heavier people, yeah. you know, for you to drop down now, I think you probably gained experience that's going to yeah. help you so much more now. Definitely. So have you any idea of when the fight's going to be? Anything revealed at the minute or? Oh. I don't know like definitely before the end of this year like I definitely want to fight again before yeah. the end of this year I'm itching to get yeah, back in yeah, the yeah. ring so um, obviously I've had a few holidays so just, yeah you've been chilling Ooh, I've you've been, been chilling. chilling I've been enjoying my time <laughs> off I'm just like I've been working that concussion off so yeah. um, that's like my excuse but yeah it's I've, been, had a, I've had my holidays now so yeah. I'm ready to get back to it and back just, to the grind yeah back to the grind I miss it now yeah. and that's the thing I think it got to that point where I was like I need to miss it and I'm missing yeah. it I'm like daydreaming about hitting people so <laughs> it's time to get back well, we've to got a yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to ask you a question about we've asked quite a few guests who are involved in boxing because we've had quite a few but well, we're lucky enough to have a lot of boxers on the show yeah. without you know without being biased do you reckon the social media scene Mm. Like the influence of boxing mm. has kind of ruined mm. the sport of boxing, mm. or do you think it's been a benefit? And if so, why? So it's a in one way it's been a benefit because I think yep. it's brought so much more eyes. Like it's yep. brought the younger yep. generation to the sport of boxing. Yep. I've had messages from like young people being like, "Oh, you know, because of you, I've got into boxing," and wow. you know, and it's like, well, maybe they might not necessarily be into the pro game because. You know, it's more professional. There's not the build-up. It's like there's not the drama. And then, you know, they don't know who the pros are, yeah. apart from, like, the proper big, big names. Of course. So I think in terms of, like, getting the younger generation and people or, like, 
you know, certain people into boxing and thinking, oh, is this something I actually want to try? And, of course, yeah. You know, it's something that's actually Even if it's like, for appealed to them. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Like, I always say, like, self-defense, um, like, empowerment as well. I feel like yeah. as a woman, it makes you feel so empowered. And it makes you feel, like, really good. Um, so I think in that sense, it's really good because it's brought eyes to, you know, certain eyes that maybe not have not Wouldn't been have interested. Seen it. Yeah, you're right. In, in the other sense, I think... I feel bad for the pros in terms of they're probably not getting paid the amount that the influencers yeah. are and they work so hard. Like they've dedicated their lives, you know, they've yeah. been training since they were young. Yeah, yeah, and man. they're probably seeing influencers on DAZN, which is the biggest boxing platform out there, being like, you know, why are these influencers? Of course. Some of them can't even throw, you know, certain fights. They're probably like, how is this even, yeah, yeah. you know, You're and right. there's people busting their asses every day trying to like make it into the boxing scene as pros and they're not getting the recognition or the payment and the yep. money that they, they, they rightly deserve because fight yep. camps are tough and fighting is tough and you are putting your life on the line like we're fighting in eights or ten out gloves so you know it's it's a tough sport so that's where I'm like I can understand where pros might be like oh you know these influencers they come in they're getting paid yeah. this amount of money exactly. they're getting this kind of you know <clears throat> these views Yeah. but then on the other side I think you know it's great that there's bringing so many new eyes to it and yeah, of course yeah, yeah so yeah it's a it's a bit pros and cons yeah pros and cons but I think yeah. even with you like you've been so I think it depends on the dedication level mm. yeah like even some guys that have been on the Misfits card mm. you can see they're not really bothered about it yeah, yeah. But some people are actually really taking it seriously yeah. like if you look at yourself now the mm. training the way you're talking about the boxing mm. like even off camera the way you're so looking forward to doing mm. it again mm. it's more like you have that fire mm. and same as Elle you know she has mm. that fire in her yeah. a lot of, but I think with some of the guys that I've seen they're mm. more like they do it more for the hype yeah um, meaning you know the numbers they get yeah. or people are watching them or you know, we're going to be on the same card as yeah. KSI and this yeah, and that. Yeah, yeah. I think it's not a hundred percent their hearts yeah, fully in it. They're not in it for the fight. They're in yeah. it for the clout and the money potentially. Hundred percent. Because nowadays, yeah. anyone you speak to, they're like, "Oh, I'm trying to get onto Misfits." Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're oh right, my you're god, right. I, the amount of DMs I get a day with, yeah. "How do I get onto Misfits? Who do I message to get onto Misfits?" And I'm like, "Just cause some drama, cause like start calling yeah. people out <laughs> yeah, and yeah. let Mam see it because he's the man." Obviously, That's it, yeah. you know. If you want it, then you gotta, you know, that's it. That's they want people that have drama, I guess. They of want course. they do want the natural drama. If people have like natural beef, like Page of Cake in Tennessee Fresh, they had their like actual beef outside yeah, of this yeah. and they were like, Well, why don't you settle it on myths bit? So but that's why I, I like social media boxing, is because the people that we watch on a daily yep. basis, yeah. like I, I don't watch a boxer on a daily basis, but I'd watch the social media yeah. people on a daily basis. And it does get to a point where you're like, Oh, it'll be sick if this person could yeah. fight that person. And now there's a platform where it can happen. I so. want to see Drake Look, fight big, uh, yeah. Kendrick Lamar. Well, Kendrick Lamar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they I'm just sell their beef huh? in the thing. Are they talking about it? They're not. <gasps> no, no, I doubt they'll No, but I'm just saying there's that kind of thing. Or like Chris Brown and Quavo. Like they're these, oh, yeah. these, these rappers and these singers that have like. You know what's funny? Because I'm a big boxing fan, but I love influencer boxing. Yeah. yeah. I'm a big fan of it. I think it's amazing. Like me and you have literally watched every event. Yeah, man. Like we, you know, the one we were at recently, mm. it was just the atmosphere was phenomenal. Yeah. It's true, man. Yeah. When. <laughs> Um, Ryan Taylor got knocked out. Oh, I was mate. like, what the oh, hell? That was mad. Was was Miss was, I was, was not, I didn't know what to expect with Miss. Miss was I mean, an animal, man. He was, he an, was an animal. animal. <laughs> And you know what the mat? I don't know. I won't say it. I won't say it. I won't say it. I won't say it. But um, yeah, no. It's it, funny because it, you know everyone. I'm like, I'm like, should I say it? No, I won't say it. But yeah. um, no, it's. Do you know what's the difference? It's like the influence of fight weeks. There's always drama that kicks off, like the weigh-ins, the press yeah, conferences. Yeah. It's they're entertaining. Exactly. Whereas whenever I watch, I love the. I actually love pro boxing. Now I actually watch all the pro fights, and I'm really into it. But the fight week build up. For pro, the pro fights, oh. it's just no build up. Nah. I'm watching, I'm like, I want to see some drama. I want to yeah, see yeah. some It's action. too professional, isn't it? Yeah, it's too professional. Whereas, I don't know, I want to see them push each other and I want to see them bad mouthing each I, other. Yeah, I think this might be the boxing fan in me. Yeah. Um, but is it because social media, everyone knows sometimes it can be a little bit fake? Yeah. Whereas in boxing, that that's like real beef there. That's yeah. why they, they, they're looking at each other like, we're actually going. Well, mm. actually, no, I, I take that back because mm. even in social media boxing, you're still punching yeah. each other up. I think the difference weird. is, it's like in pro, the pros, they're professionals. So they're, they're yeah. obviously they're trained to be professionals, like stay ahead in the game. Whereas yeah. they, as influencers, That's part you, of if it. someone brings up your mum or your family, you're going to be like, oh, it. do you know what I mean? We saw Walid and Dean and they're like, you know, their drama, he would like, Dean will always say stuff about his sister. And it's like, whereas professionals probably be like, yeah, like unfazed. Whereas, I don't know, influencers, we like are like going to No, be you are like us. That, that Ferrari guy. 
Oh, he uh, went mental. Yeah. He was a nutcase. Oh, he was a nutcase, <laughs> man. Who's fighting again? Salt Puppy. Salt Puppy, Salt that's Puppy, it. Yeah. Yeah. That man. was mental, man. Let me ask you a question as, as an onlooker, because it's nice to know, because obviously you mingle with these people. These are your yeah, friends. Yeah. These are people you actually become like quite close to. Mm. Who do you think is the most talented fighter on the whole of the Misfits card? I genuinely think Salt Puppy yeah. is. I honestly, I know his, like people might say his last performance was still... I, I'm part of his fight team. I'm not saying this because I'm part of his fight team, but yeah. I know the skill that, and technical ability that Great guy file. has. He Great hasn't, file. he wasn't able to showcase that with the Ferrari fight because Amadeus Ferrari brawl, yeah. wasn't yeah. fighting like a, like a boxer. He no, was brawling. He wanted to like, that was like a street fight because he was coming in with his hat, like head his hooks, I think. Yeah. Headbutt. So <laughs> he, he wasn't able to display like proper boxing. I think if there's the Salt Papi King Kenny fight, where King Kenny has yeah. really good boxing fundamentals yeah, and Salt Papi has good fundamentals, that would be unbelievable. An unbelievable fight. Yeah, that that either has to be on the prime card or it has to be like a main event itself. Yeah. So like that. I think, I think, I think be, King I think, Kenny is yeah, also be a very, wicked fight. Yeah. Very good. I think, Puppy, I think Puppy takes out Kenny. I don't, I don't think. think I don't think. I, I, I think it'll be a bit of a draw. I'm not sure. I'm not yeah. lying. Look, I've got. I've got. I've seen. Like, I get so excited. I think Salt's I, amazing, man. Of course he is. Yeah, I've, he's I'll amazing. Watch, yeah, I watch Salt. Uh, like some of his sparring, like his sparring rounds, I watch. Yeah. I feel like the, I was like, I should be paying to watch these. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the people he spars, I'm like, oh my god, like these guys, they ain't no joke. And I'm just like, this is so entertaining to watch because they're obviously it's meant to be sparring, but they don't go easy on each other. So I'm just like, this is this alone. I'm like, this is such an entertaining fight because it's. Actually, he's sparring with like proper amateurs or pros, and That's they, it looks really and he's that good, like yeah? really good, you know, like, aesthetically yeah. pleasing. When I look at him, I actually look at him not as a social media boxer. I, I look at him as a boxer, like mm. his movement yeah, funny in the I, ring, everything. Yeah, I take that back because you know, I think that's so true. Even with Salt, I think when you see him now, I do genuinely feel he's a boxer. He's a boxer. Yeah, yeah. I don't because I, I didn't really know him mm. when he was a bit bigger, like yeah. a lot bigger. Oh, um, did, but yeah. now I just feel like he's such a still all that fake running and all that. Yeah. Salt, but yeah. he, he, he was sick as he's well. A, like, he, that as but well. I just think, it's like mad. you said, he's boxing. When you yeah. watch him live, yeah. you can see he's an actual boxer. Yeah. 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 I know Slim beat him, oh, but yeah. you know I, I think Slim Slim's just got. Though. Yeah, Slim. Slim's a heavy hitter. Yeah, yeah. he's that's a hitman. It. He is. He's called the hitman yeah. for a reason. And I think that's probably why. But you know, because obviously you knew them, I thought it was nice to ask a little insight. Yeah, yeah. You know, because you see them train. Oh, they train so hard. I do. Like shout out to Fox as well. Because I saw him eat burgers after it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He was loving that burger. Oh, he was loving oh, life. Man. That's it. You gotta think like with someone like Salt, he came from being like he's doing food content and an yeah. overweight guy. Like I think he's really inspirational. I, I whenever I see him training, I'm always like, he's really like a proper inspiration. Same with Fox, he's in my fight team. It's, there's only the three of us in our camp and yeah. he's only 18, he's moved from America. And again, he's like, he's knocking people out and he's, you know, been a main event already. So Brilliant. I'm, I'm really fortunate to be around a really good team. And I, my coach himself, like Coach Solomon, he's just like... Yeah, big up Coach Solomon. Yeah, Solomon. Man, he's, a brother, lovely guy. He's not Bless. just a coach, he's like a brother. Like he's, Wicked, he, I feel so blessed to be part of such a good team. That's amazing. I'm, I'm sure they feel the exact same way yeah, about yeah, you. Exactly, <laughs> and yeah. I think on that I'm not the annoying sister. They're probably like, oh, fuck, she's back. Nah, you she's know what? The fact, I think the fact they've got you with them, yeah. you're bringing your energy and your positivity to oh, them Oh, I hyped well. them up so much. Yeah. I remember there was one, there was one um, session where I think I had to like, a little injury so I was like I was on the bicycle and they yeah. were doing certain drills on the box band I was like come on do it so I don't give up I'm just like a hype I'm just like yeah, a yeah. hype when I'm their cheerleader when they need it so um, that's amazing no. AJ you know what on that point because we're having such a great time <laughs> yeah I want to say a big big thank you for coming on thank you very much but before we do go is there a message for your fans your followers who you know have followed you for such a long time now yeah any message for them Oh, guys. Oh, God, I don't know if it's just like on the spot. No, 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 just, no um, on the spot. There's followers there. <laughs> guys, if you want to try something, just go for it. Ignore the hate. Um, just believe in yourself. Like, always try something as well, because you never know where it's going to take you. And yeah, just send a little love out there. So. That's it, lovely. Man. That's brilliant. I don't know, I'm really bad with no, these things. That's perfect, man. <laughs> so guys, there you have it. That was the amazing AJ Bunker. If you liked what you saw, make sure you like, comment, share and hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell notification so you don't miss none of our uploads until next week guys <laughs> we out peace thank you